According to the Attorney General's office, the opioid epidemic is killing an average of one Mainer a day. There will be a flurry of bills in 2017 that try to tackle the problem. What's going to happen, though, is those bills are going to get categorized and sent to the different silos, the different committees. So what we're going to lack is that comprehensive approach. That's why Assistant House Minority Leader Ellie Espling is pushing legislative leaders to create a separate committee to specifically deal with bills concerning the opioid epidemic. House Speaker Sarah Gideon successfully passed a Narcan bill over Governor LePage's objection earlier this year. Today, Gideon, a Democrat, says she's open to the idea of discussing the proposal from Espling, a Republican. Well, it seems there's a true bipartisan spirit now to do something. We now have more Mainers dying of opioid overdoses than in car accidents. Dr. Ron Springle is a recovery advocate. I think that the recovering community welcomes uh, anything that may streamline the consideration of what we will certainly see as a large number of bills being put forward. Last week, the LePage administration announced an investment in more than 300 new slots for medication-assisted drug treatment. Democrats called it a shift in policy from the governor's office. Espling says everyone is on the same side of this fight. When you have all bodies interested in solving the same problem, I think that warrants bringing everyone together and sort of highlighting that as something that we can all um, seek to solve. Expect lawmakers to introduce a lot of bills that are trying to tackle the problem of Maine's opioid epidemic. Bill titles are due by the end of the day on Friday, so we'll learn what they are and hopefully a little bit more about each one of them as soon as next week. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.